Hello, today we're going to show you how to update your products in Shopify with a spreadsheet based on SKUs. You don't need to export your Shopify data first, and you can use any file as long as the first column is used to identify the products. We'll take you through the process of quickly updating your products in a safe way with the option to undo your changes and to ensure that you're not missing any variants. Here's the Excel spreadsheet that we're going to use for the demo. We have three columns, the item code, which will map to the SKU, quantity on hand, and the price. Once we have the spreadsheet, we can go over to the app and upload the spreadsheet. After uploading the file, the app will take a second to analyze the data in the spreadsheet and try to auto-detect the columns in the file. And here we can see the spreadsheet that we've uploaded. The column tiles are listed at the top, and then there's rows in the spreadsheet. We can see that the app detected the first column was a SKU and the third column was a price. The app wasn't able to automatically determine that the quantity on hand column is for inventory, but we can click on this button to set that. Once we have that, the app will remember your choice for the next time. If you want to ignore a column, just click on the red X next to the action. Scrolling down, we can see the rows in our spreadsheet. If a row is red, that means that the SKU that we're looking for is not found on your Shopify store. And if the SKU is yellow, it means that there is more than one product that matches that particular SKU and that could potentially indicate a data issue on your side. Once everything here looks good, we can go ahead and click on Run Edit. And now your edit is being processed. What the app is doing in the background is going through each of the rows, finding the variants that match each SKU, and updating them. Here we can see the products that are being updated with their old values in red. If you see a mistake in the data, you can always click on the Cancel Edit button at the top of the page and then undo the edit. Depending on the number of rows, this may take a while to process, but you can leave the page and the app will continue to process everything in the background. Once the edit completes, there are a few things you can do. If you want to roll back the changes, there's an undo edit button at the top of the screen. This will revert just the modified fields back to the values that they were right before you ran the edit. When we uploaded the spreadsheet, we saw a row in red which indicated that there was a SKU that we couldn't find in Shopify. You can download all of these rows by clicking on the missing rows download icon. There's also an option to download a CSV of partial products if any are found. These are products where only some of the variants for the product were updated. Both of these options can be useful for identifying variants that aren't being updated, maybe because of changes in the feed or because of a data labeling issue on the Shopify side. And that's how you can quickly update your Shopify product data with a spreadsheet based on SKUs. There's a lot of other things you can do with spreadsheets, including skipping on changed rows, scheduling edits, and running edits from remote URLs. To try these and more, you can get started for free with our app on the Shopify App Store.